Hey everybody, Syntax77 here with you. And here's the current situation. Got a backpacking trip coming up later this week. Hopefully we'll be going to the Shenandoahs, although the weather uh, forecast looking a little rough. So I'll have to keep you posted on that. But either way, some sort of backpacking trip coming up. Now in our last video in New England, you saw that we did a complete no cook system. And that was fine, I would gladly do it again. But I got to thinking, you know, really love ramen noodles quite a lot and psychologically it'd be nice to have some with me but I don't really think I can justify the full weight of a of a cook set for that right so I'm pulling into my driveway and I say you know what I've got to come up with an ultralight cook set I'm not going back out I'm not spending any money what's in my house let's do this now the first thing a stove easy enough already done videos showing this before so we won't go too deep into it, but if you got a can of 60 cent Fancy Feast, you're good to go. You can make that into all different configurations. Testing one out here that actually didn't end up working out too well. Uh, just slowly adding holes to it until I get something decent. But you know, you can play with these things a lot and your cat will love you. But in my case, this is the one with this uh, flame pattern here that works the best for me and that I ended up uh, doing most of my testing with. Okay, so stove is knocked out. And, got my trusty scale. Always got that, right? Like to weigh stuff. Weighs in at a quarter ounce. Not too bad, one quarter of an ounce. All right, so, cooking vessel. All right, well, go into the uh, basement, take a look around. Got some canned food, although regular cans of like beefaroni and stuff, as tasty as they are, um, not quite big enough. So, lo and behold, found this can of tomatoes. 28 ounce can of tomatoes. So, made myself a tasty dinner with that. Wouldn't want to waste now, would I? Peeled off the label, got it all cleaned up. Tested it out, it holds about uh, 29 ounces, about the max, but 24 ounces or three cups is about what you would comfortably fit in there um, for boiling water. So now I got a 24 ounce vessel made out of an old tomato can. Now I'm sure somebody's going to tell me that uh, cooking and eating food out of this is going to uh, give me polio within a matter of days and I'll probably die. So, you know, do your own research, I suppose. Make sure this isn't going to kill you or, you know, maybe you'll just never try it. People have been putting tin cans over fires and cooking baked beans for plenty of time. And, well, I'm comfortable with doing it. So, there it is. Now, what does it weigh, though? And it is kind of bulky, but we can store other stuff inside of it. So, I'm not worried about that. I can put bags of ramen noodles right in this thing. Um, but what's the weight? Well, clock's in two and three quarters ounces you can see that two and three quarters ounces is the weight and my stove okay remember quarter ounce with the stove weighing a quarter ounce pop that inside the kit here and we're up to an even three ounces so there's your three ounce cook set now I happen to have one of these that weighs a half ounce. I love this thing. Um, but you could easily go to the store, uh, fast food store, and grab yourself a fork. That will be free. A uh, plastic fork or spoon, that would be free. And it wouldn't cost you any weight either. Probably weigh less than this. So there you have it. Um, went ahead and did some tests with this. Now, what I did realize was the um, when you first make a brand new one of these, and this one's pretty beaten in, but my test one with the other pattern that I didn't end up using was brand new and I noticed that it, when you put them on top, they would slip around. Uh, the pot would slip around on top. This was easily fixed with some sandpaper. Just rough the edges of the stove up a bit and then I rough the bottom of the pot up a bit as well. And it sits real nice and solid. Fuel, quite simply, denatured alcohol. This is super cheap as well, and I already had it in my basement. 
but if you don't have it you can get like a gallon of this for probably 15 bucks or less at Walmart or Home Depot it's in the paint section ask them for denatured alcohol um, that will do the trick this was one quart it probably cost me six or eight bucks but super cheap I think it priced it out if you buy a gallon of it, it costs you about 11 uh, 11 cents per ounce or something like that and speaking of ounces I keep a little bit of fuel in a plastic bottle like this okay um, did some testing and found that if I put an ounce and a half of fuel which is three tablespoons the tablespoons half an ounce so three tablespoons or one and a half ounces whatever you want to call it uh, that took about seven and a half minutes and it brought two cups of water to a full rolling boil and that two cups continued to boil for another three minutes my water temperature was 73 degrees so I consider that a nice baseline water temp um, some people say oh well you know what if your water is XYZ feel free to do your own tests but for 73 degrees that was my baseline and if your water's colder you're going to need some more cooking now like I just said an ounce and a half will continue to boil for another three minutes after reaching full boil so there's your margin of error for temp but I also wanted to know let's not waste fuel as much one ounce of fuel or two tablespoons that brought two cups of water more than enough to cook some ramen or a cup of coffee for you and your buddy brought two cups of water to a boil with one ounce of fuel in same amount of time seven minutes but it burnt out within 30 seconds much more fuel efficient also found even though I was testing with an actual tablespoon like a metal one uh, one of these medicine cups if you have one is super light you can take it with you it's marked so you can put the exact amount of fuel that you're used to using in it has three teaspoons on it which is the same as a tablespoon and a tablespoon remember is half an ounce so if you fill this to the three you got half an ounce if I fill it all the way to the top I have a full ounce so the only thing left to do was to actually test out making a batch of ramen noodles so what I did was I scaled the water back from two cups to one and a half cups broke up some ramen threw it in there I only took a half ounce of fuel the idea here is that you light it you forget about it it comes up to a boil now a half ounce will bring one cup of water just to a boil and stop in this case it brought it up really close to a boil or just peaked at a boil and then it self extinguishes because the fuel runs out you let it sit for another four minutes and basically after a total of eight to ten minutes you take the lid off and you're good to go you got yourself ramen noodles armed with the knowledge I now had I just had to um, get myself a fuel bottle. I know this is a little excessive, but I use this all the time. It's scalable. I can fit a ton of fuel in it. You notice I wrap tape around it. That can be used in emergency, but more importantly, it's going to make it very hard for me to mistake this for water. So, I know that um, a t tablespoon or a half ounce of denatured alcohol is going to either make me a cup of coffee or cook me some ramen noodles. So, I simply take four half ounce portions dump them in this bottle that gives me the ability to do ramen noodles twice and coffee twice although I'll probably be doing iced coffee more often but that's another story anyway four loads of fuel is only two ounces two liquid ounces and for those of you who want a science fact a liquid ounce of denatured alcohol does not actually weigh an ounce as far as weight goes but it's it's actually a little less but it's close so with the bottle with the container the tape on there two ounces of fuel rings in right at two ounces so now my entire kit cooking vessel fuel and bottle stove weighs in at just over five ounces that's fuel stove everything else not too bad. Now you can buy a titanium pot. Um, I did the research anywhere from fifty to a hundred dollars, with the median being seventy-five dollars. I could I found a seventy-five dollar titanium pot that held about thirty-nine ounces. But seventy-five dollars, man. Look, I'm sure it's cool, but I got other items that it would just be dumb for me to not upgrade certain other items if I had seventy-five dollars I wanted to spend. So for right now, this is gonna get the job done that's what I'm going with. Feel free to tell me what you use in the comment section below. Till next time, I'm Syntax77. Have fun out there. <laughs>